If you're still using job boards and recruitment agencies to hire truck drivers, your trucking business might be done for. Well, probably not. But if you are currently having trouble finding and hiring reliable and experienced truck drivers, like many trucking companies out there, your pockets are probably hurting. It's a good thing you found this video. This is a method that barely anyone is using right now to acquire qualified truck drivers, which is crazy because it's in a place where you are looking every single day. So in this video, I'm going to go over why you and so many other trucking companies can find truck drivers and when you do, they're either inexperienced or unqualified. Where to find the good drivers in a place where no one else is looking and how to actually get those qualified drivers apply to your business so you can pick and choose who you want to hire instead of picking up anyone off the street simply because you have an empty truck and a load that needs to be hauled. The first point is by far the most important step. If you can't diagnose why you can't find qualified truck drivers, you'll never be able to make a plan on how to secure good ones. You'll be stuck in the endless hamster wheel of hiring and firing when you realize the quality of the drivers you are onboarding is no good. They may simply be inexperienced or lazy or looking for high pay without putting in the work. Either way, they're giving you more headaches than miles. You can't grow a trucking company when you're caught up in the day-to-day -day headaches of managing bad drivers. It's simply not possible. When you think of good qualified drivers, you probably think about, let's say, Mike, for an example, who's been running with a company for 10 or 20 years and is comfortable with where he's working. He has a strong work ethic, he's reliable, he always answers the phone and is basically family at this point. And that's just the issue. If he's comfortable with where he's working, why would he make the risky jump to join another business? You could simply pay more, but there are probably dozens of large carriers in your region who could outbid your salary tomorrow. Your alternative option is to go on job boards or sites like Craigslist. But those places are only crawling with free ads like the ones you post, which get lost in the noise. But also paid ads from the big companies that can give big paycheck. It's another dead end that rarely works out unless you're lucky. Another option that trucking companies rely on is going to a recruitment agency. But 99% of the time, they are on a per hire basis to get paid not on the quality of the hire, so you may get a lot of leads coming through the interview process, but you'll notice a dramatic decrease in quality. And on the off chance you do hire them, it's unlikely to work out in the long term. The common denominator between all these methods of acquiring truck drivers is that you are shouting in a crowded room full of large carriers who have deep pockets. Since you can't outspend them, you have to get a bit creative with how you're going to find your next truck driver. And quite frankly, you can't afford not to when trucks are sitting empty outside your office windows right now. So where do we find more mics in the world and get them hired? There's a good chance you are watching this video on a computer. But if you're not, you're watching this on your phone. Much like you and I, when we have 10 or 15 minutes of free time during the day, maybe during a break or at lunch, we turn on our phones and check social media. Now, if you think about drivers, when they're on the road, they're probably doing the same thing during their downtime. Since there's only so much you can do when you're at a rest stop. We look at Facebook or Instagram to see what our family or friends are up to. But those annoying ads always pop up every third or fourth post. Do you see where I'm going with this? Those ads go directly in front of our faces every single day. It's not just some job board that drivers go to only when they're considering getting a new job. So that's just it. You need to run ads. Now that you know where qualified truck drivers are hanging out, you need to figure out how to run ads to get in front of them and how to actually convince them to join your company on their terms. That's where the Facebook ads come in. Your goal with these ads is to one, present an amazing offer, and two, show them your face. Now, instead of shouting in a crowded room full of other carriers, you're almost talking with them one-on-one. -on -one. If you're wondering what the ad should look and sound like, I'm going to film an example one for you right now. You don't need any fancy editing or anything like that. You just need a phone that has a good quality camera. 
make sure to pause the video and rewind if you want to write down the script. And before you film, you want to make sure that you're standing in front of a lighting source that could be a window or standing outside. As a bonus, having trucks in the background always helps hook the drivers immediately to look at your ad. I'm looking for a drive-in driver who has over three months of experience on the road, who lives in Houston area and wants to make up to 60 cents per mile while being home every single weekend. If you like what you hear, click on this video to chat with me right now. Now that you have your ad filmed, you need to upload it to Facebook and target drivers with it. If you're not tech savvy, find someone else in your company to help you out with this next step. Here's how you want to upload your video. You literally go to your business page, you go right here, and then you pick on this photo video, click on this part, and you should see this video. It will ask you to do that real thing. Don't do the real thing, just keep it like this. Don't turn this on yet, and then just hit post. And you will see in a couple minutes or in a couple seconds, you your video will get approved. So in a couple of minutes, you will see it posted right here and then you're ready to rock and roll. Okay, cool, you saw the video is uploaded now and all you need to do is click on this button. You may have gotten this choice when you uploaded the video, but that's okay, just forget about it. Just hit boost post. You can turn this off. Don't do call button, just hit send messages. Turn on this, turn this on, employment category, because you are employing it and then pick the country that you want to do this in. So you could do United States, hit save. And here you want to change it to, hi, hit this first name of the recipient and be like, are you looking to drive for us? Cool. And then what you wanna do is don't have these questions, just remove them all. You want this to be a free flowing text where they can communicate with you and just talk with you. This is just an example of the first name that it's gonna pull of the person that messages you, so you're good. So you don't need to do anything, just do it how I showed you. And then you literally just do it safe. So as soon as somebody messages you back to this, you pick up your phone and start talking with this driver. That's all you really need to do. And if you have an Instagram, connect an Instagram. If you have a WhatsApp, connect a WhatsApp. You don't need to. All you need to do is, you can't really change the audience, the age and everything like that. Here is where you wanna put Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. And the 50 mile radius is the max you are able to go. So you can do 50 mile radius, there you have it. So now you're targeting now you're only showing your message, your video to drivers in this area. Save audience. And then you will put this down to $20 a day. Right here you want to put semi truck and trailer. Vehicle, that's it. Save audience. And you'll see, it will show you the amount of people it's gonna reach or the drivers that it thinks that it can show this to or the audience. This is perfect. This looks like a good number for you. Hit that. And once everything looks good, you put employment, say send message, all that kind of stuff. You hit boost post now, right here. And then in a couple, couple hours or a couple minutes, your ad should be approved and then you should start seeing messages. Congrats, you now have your advertisements up and running. It's only a matter of time before you start getting leads. And lastly, if they see your ad, they might not apply to you right away. You need to have social proof online to prove you are a real carrier and not a fly-by-night company. Remember, qualified drivers are already in a good position, so they don't technically need to join your company. Your online presence needs to be so persuasive that they want to join you on your mission. This means you need to have video testimonials from other drivers talking about their experience with your company. A clean and professional website, and this last one is optional, but it definitely helps. Videos of you talking on camera. The topic doesn't matter. It could be you showing off a company barbecue or talking about new trucks. 
anything to show that you are a real human who cares about your company. This is what gives you an edge over the big carriers. And now that you know how to find qualified drivers and get them to apply, onboarding them and keeping them happy is a whole different game. I'll cover that in another video. If you are a trucking business who have more than 10 trucks and are looking to grow your operations, which I'm sure you are because you're watching this video, I can help you double your fleet in 30 days or less. No more posting useless ads on job boards or dealing with bad recruitment agencies, none of that. That might sound like a wild statement, but we have done it many times over. For example, we helped Collins Trucking in Georgia recently do this by installing out a system that allowed them to go from 20 open trucks to a waiting list of drivers in only five short months. If that sounds like something that you're interested in, click the link in the description and watch the video on the top of the page. And if it's a good fit, let's work together.